Hey everybody, it is time for a recipe collab video. I was invited to take part in this great collab from uh, the wonderful Lauren from Lois Lane and then also Barbie from Barbie Bolanos. Um, now, Lauren I've been subscribed to for a while. Barbie is new to me, so I'm gonna be catching up on some of her videos. I'm really uh, really glad to find these two uh, ladies. Their resources are really uh, gonna help me on this journey and I think they're very helpful for anybody on a Weight Watchers journey. Um, now they have uh, proposed the Skinny Kitchen collab, and I thought, you know, I've never heard of Skinny Kitchen. Isn't that funny? And you'd think that I would have run it across it. I love Hungry Girl recipes because they fit right in, and um, Skinny Kitchen has so much to offer. I went there, I looked around, pretty much on whatever niche you're into nutritionally, you can find some recipes there. Um, so I, I mean, I even found some keto recipes. It was really cool. I mean, I think I'm going to be uh, keeping that as a constant resource. So right now, my family is doing a lot of heavily plant-based meals we're doing a lot of uh, starches and uh, just keeping things real low fat and this recipe it has some dairy in it which is okay with the kids they like that um, and so I settled on a recipe called um, skinny quinoa vegetarian enchilada casserole that's a mouthful but it was a wonderful mouthful <laughs> so my family loved it I loved it at, I was a little bit worried that it wasn't going to thicken up as it baked, but um, I found that, you know, the, the recipe says to let it sit for 10 minutes before you serve it, and I think that's really important to do that because it solidifies a little bit more when you do that. Um, but it's a wonderful recipe. It's very filling, chock full of protein, and, um, and what I found is that you can substitute things into it. It's not going to hurt it any. Uh, put your favorite items in. Uh, get some low point items and switch them around it calls for corn a uh, half a cup uh, my family loves corn so I just put a full cup you can really play around with it a little bit and it's not gonna hurt it in the least bit um, so really change it up to your taste um, you can add a little bit of difference you know to the toppings and stuff but it's a really good basic recipe very filling and goes really well in tacos pitas or burritos um, the next day or a burrito bowl or something like that so it's really going to fit right into making um, I think I'm gonna work it into my prep for the week and then that way I'll have like a burrito filling ready to go um, so I really highly recommend it it was very very tasty and I found that I had um, everything that goes in it in the house as regular staples. It wasn't anything that was really odd that I had to run to the store for. So I've only do it, I'm only doing one shopping trip a week. I didn't have to go back just for this recipe. So I highly recommend it. Um, and I'm going to encourage you to check out the other links that are listed below the other wonderful channels who are participating in this collab and uh, check out definitely Lois Lane and Barbie Bolanos. And I want to thank uh, Lauren and Barbie for um, inviting me to this collab. All right, guys, I will see you in a little bit. All right, everybody, we are going to make that casserole. I'm going to show you what is going into it. Um, first of all, we have one cup of quinoa, and I'm using a tricolor quinoa. This is the one that I had in the house. One cup of that, one cup of onions. I'm going to chop that up. I'm gonna have one teaspoon of garlic. Um, I like using fresh garlic. And then a one 15 ounce can of black beans. I've got some, I try to get my beans that are no salt added. One 10 ounce can of red enchilada sauce right there. And then one four and a half ounce can of mild green chilies. Um, a half of a cup of the corn kernels defrosted. And this is a really wonderful recipe that if you want more of something, put more, and if you want less, put less in. It's not gonna hurt it to vary the amounts um, at all. One half cup of non-fat plain yogurt, and I like to use the Faye Greek yogurt. Um, and then one half cup of light Mexican cheese blend. I have the Trader Joe's version, and then I also have a Kraft version here. So I'm kind of running low on both, but I think I can get a half a cup out of there easy. 
Um, and then over here the, in the spice section, I have some chili powder. I'm going to be using one teaspoon of chili powder, one half teaspoon of cumin, and then one half teaspoon of salt and black pepper to taste. Um, and then on top, the topping is going to be, I'm going to be using some chopped and drained tomatoes, probably about three quarter cup. And then we should put scallions on top, like a third cup, but I don't have any. I used them yesterday, and so I'm going to have to throw in some chopped cilantro on top to kind of vary the color a little bit. Um, but I sure wish I had some scallions. I think they would really add a lot to this. Okay, so let's get started. Now, don't forget to um, rinse your quinoa really, really well. It should be rinsed fairly well, too remove any powdery residue before you start. All right, so you want to cook the quinoa according to the package directions. Um, according to this, I'm going to add two cups of water, bring it to a boil, and then I'm going to add in my quinoa. Okay, I'm going to preheat the oven to 350 degrees. All right, my water was boiling, so I have just um, added the quinoa. I'm going to lower it to simmer, and then I'm going to cover it and cook it for about 15 minutes. All right, while that's cooking, I'm gonna take a nine by nine, or in this case, I got like a nine by seven or so, uh, baking pan, and I'm just gonna lightly spray it with some um, olive oil spray. Right, I have my chopped onions and my minced garlic in a microwave safe bowl, and I'm gonna put that in the microwave for about two to three minutes to soften them up. All right, so now is the magic mixing moment where you just put everything in here except for the topping items. So I've got my onions and garlic. I've got my rinsed and drained black beans and my thawed out corn. And although it called for a half a cup of the corn, um, I, I know my family loves corn, so I'm putting a full cup in there for them. Um, in goes the yogurt, the non-fat yogurt. I'll fish the rest of that out with a spoon in a minute. My enchilada sauce. I have to tell you that this smells so good already. Um, my green chilies is not a four and a half ounce can. It's actually a seven ounce can, but that's okay because we actually really like it. Um, you're actually going to add in the cheese as well. I know that seems like something you'd put on top, but you're going to fold it in and then I'm going to add in all of my spices, and I'm going to mix all of this up, and I'm going to crack some pepper into that as well. What's the one thing I forgot to put in here? The quinoa! So, <laughs> that's like a big deal. So I'm going to mix that quinoa in here. I thought something was missing. And uh, get it all mixed up and then put it down in my pan. Look at that. Ooh, it smells good. I know when, the, when uh, my family walks through the door, they're going to smell this. And my hubby's going to say, ooh, what is that? Here we go. All right, so now that I've got it, I'm spreading it into the pan. I'm going to cover it up with foil. And I'm going to stick it in the oven at 350 for about 20 minutes. All right, I've taken it out. It's been about 20 minutes and it is cooked. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is I want it to look like this picture. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put in a little bit more like a half a cup of cheese over the top. I'm gonna put on my tomatoes and then I'll sprinkle on some of these cilantros, probably when it comes out. And, um, and then it'll look real pretty. Boy, but it sure does smell good. Look at that. And here is the finished project, product, I guess I should say. Look at that, it looks so amazing. And so what I'm gonna do is just put a little bit of the cilantro here and there, and not too much on one side because my hubby doesn't like it a whole lot. Isn't that pretty? I can't wait to get into this. I'll let you know how it is. Alright everybody, I hope you enjoyed that recipe. Please like and subscribe for more recipes. I do love doing recipe videos, although I've been on a little hiatus for a while. I will be back. <laughs> Alright, love you a lot and I'll see you soon.